Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month. We'll video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capes and lunatics. Hope to see you there. Batman, my favorite character. That's in the chat for Ray. Ah, uh, all the other boys love the Batman. All right, kids, welcome back to another episode of We Are the Night. <sighs> The Batman Batman podcast. Podcast. I, am, I am Phil and start and uh sort of as always it is. She's not a redhead, but she is feisty and in, in the woods. It is. A little hellfire. And of course, this starts June, so of course, who's here all month yep. for just in June? It is the president the of the Killer Club. That's right. Swooping back into Gotham. On it's gonna Mothman. be a hoot and good time, guys. Hoot and good That's time. That's right. Hoot and good time. <laughs> you know, I was insulted. I heard someone at work making like Al jokes the other day. I was like, "How dare you?" They're like, "Who?" <laughs> <laughs> And to, so, I mean, we're covering two issues tonight, but yes, the first one is also the first appearance of Barbara Gordon. That's a major milestone. Yep. Her librarian get up there. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I don't want to say Killer Moth. I don't know. I don't want to disparage Killer Moth, but, uh, you know, this young girl, first time out of the gate. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, Justin, what is it about this Killer Moth that I love? Kill the first time I saw Killer Moth, I think it may have even been the picture that um, Lilith picked for her for her profile for this. <laughs> I just I love the the whole costume. I for for some reason that my serotonin boost always comes into play whenever there's orange and purple together. Like for some reason that color combination does it for me. Oh, so. When I saw that, and then the green too, of course, the green looked really cool in there. I was like, ooh, this character looks cool. Who is this? And then I found out that he was like the first kind of anti Batman that ever was. And that, yeah, he's got just as many gadgets and he's even yeah, pointier than a bat. He's exactly. a <laughs> yeah. Both creatures of the night, one drawn to darkness, one drawn to light. Right. And, and he Not was that like, that's intentional. The, yeah, but he was the one that tried to bail out criminals when they would get into trouble. Like, they would do the moth signal, and then Killer Moth would come down and help them out. Crime union. A, Every crime job union. needs a union. Absolutely. And I thought that was such a cool concept for a character. I loved that. And I loved that in one of the stories we're going to talk about tonight, we actually talk, it's focused on that. Like, his whole conceptual, his whole purpose of being was bruce wayne could never yeah i i love it i love it and the fact that he had henchmen called larva and poopa i mean come on that's, <laughs> that's absolutely fantastic so i just i love how corny he is and yeah all the little gadgets and stuff classic silver age character but translation did... justin loves when someone commits to the bit <laughs> exactly <laughs> I love commitment. <laughs> One, I heard Sarah turn and boost. I'm like, he's no biscuit. I'm like, what well, is he packing something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then two. I like Batman. That's not a tube sock. <laughs> <laughs> that's all natural. And then the minute I heard anti Batman, I heard Ray typing, looking up any Hello? killer moth, any killer moth oh. merch. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ray, had to, Ray, Ray had to close out those pictures of Sydney Sweeney, and yeah, so you start looking for Killer Moth merch. Don't worry, Marvel Snap. He still has it in the other hand. Don't worry. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney is the black cat. <laughs> well, we're just gonna, we're all just manifesting that at this point. If the internet has its way. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. 
somebody did a side by side of her and the black cat today, and I sent it to Ray, and he was like, "Well, I'll look." Oh, uh oh, <laughs> yeah. New obsession rabbit hole unlocked. Yes. Looks like you boys won't be doing a predator and prey podcast this month. <laughs> Unless the Predators play by Sidney Sweeney. <laughs> Again, he never has time, but I guarantee you, if we started a Tiger podcast, he would be there. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, all this meow, all this meow, man, no damn Tiger. I feel wrong. No, that's not true. <laughs> Justin and I did see some Tiger and some oh, Okay, you did over on Marvel Tales. You went T-A-I-L-S. Yeah, we did two yes, episodes of Tiger. I said I was disappointed that I did not think of renaming it for the month of May. T A I L S. But yes, anywhere there's a cat or woman. Next year, it, next year you'll get them. Yeah. That's, oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Sure. All right. So yes, but anywhere there's a uh, there's a, a wear cat woman in a bikini, Ray will be there. Yes. <laughs> anywhere there's a Madrox, the Multiple Man, or a Hercules, Ray will be or there. Or Hercules. That's true. <laughs> Yep. Anywhere there's a uh, female character in fishnets, Ray will be there. <laughs> <laughs> I still like Russell's suggestion for for Ray's uh, catch-all Marvel podcast. A couple of balls down the gob, a Marvel <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the balls down the gob. The, the, the Ray Ray pod lore is so deep, <laughs> so deep. <laughs> I I told you I think his new handle needs to be the hard master. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he definitely should have named it for that that new uh that new YouTube channel he's got that should have been since he's playing with himself. Mm. The hard master. That would have got clicks and views. <laughs> I was just Is really this only fans. <laughs> <laughs> only four fans. Ray plays game. <laughs> <laughs> Raking in the cash. The big finish. I hope those aren't Jazzy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See, I this is why know. you should be a patron. You can get you can get berated and made fun of all over live on That's the internet. Right. <laughs> I know. I don't. I don't know why we're wasting all our energy on Ray like this though. Not gonna hear this. Hear this? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never That's know. Right. All he right. might he might have actually run out of content while he was playing Marvel Snap. He might listen. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, he's either, again he's either looking at Sydney Sweeney pictures or he's yelling at his son to put the Batman stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Give me that figure. I'm gonna cut it. No good. <laughs> he's writing the angry letter to Todd McFarlane right now. <laughs> He's boycotting whatever store they bought that Batman stuff at. And what was it? Yeah. Kmart, Kmart, you know, kangaroo. The for kangaroo. <laughs> Power the pouch. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> Out of the pouch. Boing. Out of the gooch. <laughs> that, that's for it. his OnlyFans. <laughs> People right here. The bush. <laughs> People right here. If you just want to, I mean, especially patrons, if you want to straight. Just the uh, roasting of Ray Ray Pod. That's what we need is the celebrity roast of Ray. Yes. I was just going to yeah, say, you it, it could be worse than Tom Brady's. Hell. Yeah. Hell. <laughs> you mentioned that actually once doing a roast episode. I think it's a great idea. It was oh. more for creators. Zeb, you're not off the hook just yet. Mark your bingo cards. Oh, yeah. oh remember? I said I wanted to do a trial of Bendis, and I will try my Abstentia. Yeah. <laughs> the trial of Bendis. <laughs> Every, everyone can I love that. But everyone. Charlie's not here to defend him, so we can't do that. He's the only person that would have been willing. <laughs> Even Charlie had his issues with He had his gripes. It was like a simple Iron Man thing. He could look past that. Iron Man's parents were no <laughs> one. Oh, man. He was defended by a puppet. No, that is perfect, actually. Yes. We can still do it. Oh, my God. You know what this makes me, right? It's a puppet master. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Totally. <laughs> all right <laughs> all right enough clowning around guys we got a whole two issues to cover but that's all right. right yeah let's get to some got serious a lot of business story here. <laughs> let's get to some serious business some killer moth <laughs> Hero- <laughs> the cover is she a heroine or a villainous really yeah. really 1967 <laughs> i know right 
The villainous is just, uh, I don't the know villainous. what it is about that word. Is she evil? She has a vagina. <laughs> she, no, she's a ginger. Oh. She's the worst shit. She's yes. a ginger. Uh, yeah. Strike two. Strike it two. is 1967, my friend. Touched by the devil. <laughs> oh! Or as my pal John, John Snow says, kissed by fire. <laughs> Uh, For all two Game of Thrones fans, <laughs> <laughs> what's well, 1967? She has her little purse and she's fighting crime in high heels. Come on, yeah, gotta be stylish, right. and you need a place to put your lipstick. You never know when you're gonna meet a boy. <laughs> That's right. It's giving. Still... It's Patsy. It's Patsy. <laughs> <laughs> I, still, I still laugh at her librarian glasses at the beginning. It's called a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you need a place to put your lipstick. It's in his prison purse. It is Carmine, to be fair. It is Carmine. So I, I stand by that fetish comment. And it's Gardner, it's Gardner Fox. I definitely stand by fetish right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think as a kid, man, I don't know. He had a hot, li- li- hot librarian at the turn of the 20th I've century. N- honestly, <laughs> honestly, I've never seen an ugly librarian. Never. I haven't either. Really? I have never. No. I was going to say, I've seen older ones. I mean, come on, Lil. We know you're not into anything over 30. Come on. Well, that's men. Because oh. men are stupid oh. and I don't respect them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I was, waiting for you to say they need to, I was waiting for you to say they need to be young, dumb, and pretty. And then I went for that one down there to say pretty. Say, <laughs> young, dumb, and full of uh, fun. Fun. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> Wedding. Yeah. <laughs> This looks like um, a 1940s movie poster. Like, I don't it know. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So, yes, kids. Detective Comics 359, January 1967. So close. Uh, I was going to say, do we have enough content to do another summer of 69? <laughs> uh, I'm sure we do. Probably. We could do movies. We could do music. We do everything. Coming sum- summer 2025, maybe. <laughs> All right, Batman, the million dollar debut of Batgirl. I don't right, know about that. <laughs> writers, or no, writer, Gardner Fox, penciler, Carmine Infantino, inker, Sid Green, the letterer, Gaspar Saladino, and. Oh Eddie my God, Gaspar, Cam- what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Costanza in a time machine, you know, because he looks <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> He was just a baby when this came out. That's right. All right. So, where's the stupid side screen would close? All right. Uh, all right. It's better. All right. So, Barbara Gordon, daughter of Gotham City Police Commissioner James Gordon. James? Ew. His name, his name is Jim. He's a good old boy. Jim. That's his, that's his Norman name. Come that's on. His Duffin name. No, don't be putting that out there like that. That's his post crisis name. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Uh, I don't know. That's a pre crisis. Mm. Just, that's just a... shout out to the animated series because this is literally the origin. <laughs> Yeah. They use basically in that in that episode. Definitely. Uh prepares to attend a policeman's charity masquerade ball. Uh nothing. Okay. A couple of bowls down the gold. <laughs> it's uh, for charity. I'm trying to be a, an adult here. It's for charity. Uh, charity <laughs> balls. Okay. Yeah. Mm, maybe Justin can relate. I can. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few moments, a few charity moments. I'm trying to think of a funny I'm way to say Lilf gave charity to balls, but I, I don't know. <laughs> it's not charity and it's not mercy. Sorry, boys. Oh, my. <laughs> Power of the penis. Uh, she designed a costume in the style of Batman and names herself Batgirl. <gasps> but why not Batwoman? Hmm. We've asked that question, but much, much later. It's 1967. She's not a married yet, Lil. Touche, good sir. No one has come tumbling out of the vagina yet. She's not a mother. Come on. 
It's Miz. <laughs> As she arrives at the country club, she finds a villain named Killer Bot. Yeah. Bum, bum, and his that mod. name of his though. Killer Moth? Yeah, I was going to say. I, no, I, no, I, no. His actual legal government name. I uh, never could figure what that was about. Oh, Cameron Van Clear? No, the other one. Does he wait, have a different name? Wait, what? Either way, all of the names are terrible. Oh, oh, oh. Drury Walker? Yeah. Oh, Drury. Yeah, Drury. Yeah, it's like, I see what you tried Dr- to do there. Yeah. That's the only time I've ever seen the name Drury. His first appearance was Batman 63 in 1951, so that might explain... 1951 might explain... That always explains everything. (laughs) Yeah. 51, no less. Yeah, Drury, I think that's another mixed piddle. Like, they just started hitting by keys on the typewriter. (laughs) That's a good name of hotels, but um, not very good hotels either. Sorry. Oh. Uh, (laughs) No? Fleabag? Killer Moth? I don't know. Oh! Justin's right there, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's this. It's the startling attack of the bed bug. <laughs> well, if you're in Paris. Oh! <laughs> Lilith, who's Paris? <laughs> I didn't say oh. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wee wee. <laughs> <Hey, wee. laughs> He's going to fall out of that damn chair. Come on. Uh, so, yeah, she, uh, she rises at the club, finds a villain named Killer Moth and his Mothmen attacking one of the guests, Bruce Wayne. Oh. He's running in the woods like he's running out of that closet. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. He's giving him the Tom Cruise run. Got to escape these <laughs> You dive off that couch, son. Batgirl <laughs> dives into them, giving Wayne a chance to escape. Bruce takes this opportunity to change into Batman, then returns to the spot to give Batgirl a hand. Killer Moth uses his silk she gun. She kicked him right in the nuts, bro. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> she hit him right, she right in the not sack. Mess around. <laughs> <laughs> hit that sack right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She also says she's putting the finishing touch on it. I'm just like that. You know what? If it's consensual, it's none of my business. Well, it's yeah. metering time. Maybe they're into it. No, my. Like, I, don't, I don't feel like they went in deep enough. <laughs> I mean, they're working oh, to them off in a fancy <laughs> outfit. I think they're into it. <laughs> what's your What's your kink, baby? I like to dress like a moth. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go find where, me a flame. Where, where their names were Larva and Poopa, did they call Killer Moth Daddy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> dear. I don't even want to know what a guy named Poopa's name is into. <laughs> is it Poopa or Pupa? I think it's Pupa. But for the for the purposes of this podcast, because we're juvenile. Potato, potato, potato. We'll call potato, it potato, 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 flaming pal of poop. <laughs> We'll call it Poopa. Uh, Killer Moth <laughs> uses his silk gun to web a Batgirl to the side of Bruce's car and then escapes with his underlings. Uh, Batman. Go for that silk gun. If you know anything about Guardians of Carbine. <laughs> I think two of our panelists tonight have dodged their silk their number of silk guns in the day. <laughs> Just look at that panel of Barbara looking at Bruce. Yeah, like, sorry, definite... babe, that's all your dad. <laughs> Nothing for you. Oh. <laughs> she she looking at that man. And Unless thinking, it's the Timbers. <laughs> we don't talk about the Timbers. <laughs> and this is why Dick Grayson hates Bruce Wayne and the Timbers. <laughs> That's so funny because this is pre-crisis, so she's like a <laughs> dick. But even still, in this issue, he's like, "Hey, baby." Yeah, <laughs> he's really he, young in this issue. Actually. He's shorter he, than she is. Oh yeah, he's it's not, giving Damien and Stephanie vibes. To be perfectly honest. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Hey, baby, you'd be my first redhead. You'd be my first. First. Yeah. <laughs> first. First. I don't know. He, you gotta remember, he's circus folk, though. 
Oh, first and foremost, yeah. I know he was like eight, but he was yeah. Turkish folk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't assume anything here. Yeah. Baby want to tri- baby want trip around the big top. She <laughs> 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 uh, trying to work this trapeze. Whoa. Oh. Uh, da, 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 da. Batman pulls Batgirl free and introductions are made between the two. The following day, Bruce Wayne receives a letter in the mail. Killer Moth wow, what's this is day? old. $100,000. That's $6 billion in 1960s money, bro. How much is it? <laughs> like $100 billion. $100,000. Now he's like, no, that, that can't even get you literally a down payment on a house. So good luck, kids. Good luck. I was, I was gonna say now it's like twenty five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> or else, or else he will murder him. Oh, there's been a murder. <laughs> and Bruce foul. and Dick oh, laying around the kitchen table, like, how, how do we do a trap for killing off? Should we? Should we do it Riddler style? Should we do it Joker style? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joker style. Yeah. Squirt him with that uh, flower. Joker right. Venom. They don't call it yep. Venom for nothing. That's right. Packs a punch. Drove Harley insane. I and get a grin again and again. Oh, episode 200, <laughs> kids. Episode 200. That's right. October. Uh, uh, Bob Gunn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. That's how Lil that's how Lil breaks up with her boyfriends. <laughs> I, I I just tell the Uber, you know, drop them off at the nearest Seven Eleven. They don't even get to get a ride home. Nice. Uh, and block them. Then you just block them, and you're yep, fine. Block them. I heard, yeah. I heard the economy so bad they don't even get that egg McMuffin anymore. Nope. They don't. <laughs> no. They get one of those Jimmy Dean sausages. <laughs> 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 you know, I shop at Sam's Club, so I buy them in bulk. They're like a dollar a piece at that point. So that means when they arrive at the 7 Eleven, they got to book it to the bathroom right away. <laughs> exactly. <get> See? <laughs> well, no, it's a, I don't know, it's a whole different kind of issue because I don't think she even microwaves it, so they're chipping it. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I like, hear you can eat this up at home. <laughs> but I'm hungry now. Then sit your ass on and heat it up. Yeah, yourself. sit <laughs> on it. <laughs> heat it up. It is an egg after all. <laughs> bitch, you bitch, you, you you served your purpose. You came here and please me. Now get out. That's right. Next. <laughs> <laughs> That's 2025. That's 2025. Oh God, she gonna have so much time to make. Oh, she got a year to make up for in 2025. Oh. So uh yes, law enforcement, if there's a bunch of young Young male dead bodies in Florida. Uh, in mind missing. your business. All dehydrated. Mind your business. <laughs> That's right. Bruce consults with Dick Grayson and the two lay a trap for Killer Moth. Hurts one of those pest strips. <laughs> <laughs> but quick, cut out all the lights. <laughs> Hit him with the newspaper. <laughs> He's all like, here, Alfred, take this bag to the cor- corner of more and more road in Wilson Lane. <laughs> Here's the playing Robin. It's his it's, 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 it's coin purse. Thousand dollars <laughs> fit in that little bag, but that you know that's not my business. Quick, Robin will trap him and then flush him down the toilet. <laughs> trap him in a little jar and don't poke the holes in it. Oh, oh. this is a sixty-six episode. Like, wait a minute, this isn't Firefly. <laughs> Damn it, your ass better light up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alfred will make sure he loves to give oh. us <laughs> it made ass light up. <laughs> uh, that evening, Barbara Gordon leaves the library where she works. She has acquired a rare book that she intends on selling to Bruce Wayne. Oh my! Um, well, I is- think that's how libraries work, but um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think somebody's ever been in a library. <laughs> She's gonna just sell no, a this, book. Okay. This is this is her job on the side, Lil. This is you know, she was she was original eBay. Come on. <laughs> As she arrives at Wayne Manor, she finds Bruce laying dead in his study, and Ray just sat up and, and cheered with killing. <laughs> he just got, he got a warm chill up his spine. You gotta warm got something goosebumps. up. You gotta warm something up somewhere. <laughs> 
where he was Killer Moth and his goons hovering above him. She hurriedly <laughs> changes into Batgirl and leaps into the study. She fights off all three men at once, the little hellfire method, but once again, they succeed in escaping. Batman and Robin appear and tell her that the body of Bruce Wayne is actually just a dummy. And she says, Duh, I knew that. And she says, oh, so it's the actual Bruce Wayne? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How it's reckless to use the real Bruce Wayne like that. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, that's your favorite little joke, isn't it? You heard me yeah, like oh, the pillow so princess. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> no, it's it's a it's uh the Bruce Wayne sex dummy that lays there and does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He just he uses that as his body double when he's all tapped out. <laughs> Nobody knows the difference. <laughs> yeah, either way, it's fine with the Joker. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jim, on the other hand, not so happy. <laughs> How about new? Uh, they were laying a trap for Killer Moth in the hopes of tracking him back to his lair, but Batgirl spoiled their plans. Stupid girl, get out of here! This is boys only! <laughs> this is boys only. Literally. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll be as smart as a boy. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Next thing you know, the she's one... got a tracer. She's got a spider. Tra I mean, a Batgirl tracer. <laughs> Next thing you know, she'd be wanting to drive and vote. Damn. Damn. Next thing you know, she's gonna want her own credit card. Damn. <laughs> she's got about 10 years for JCPenney to come through for her on that one. Or like rates over her own body. What the hell? Well, we still don't have that, unfortunately. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that, oh, that comes oh, and yeah. goes with the wind, but yeah. That's true. Every 10 years, we gotta fight for that one. Play my drop, Phil. You know the one. <laughs> Listen to her. Okay, Babe Ruth, point at the fence some more. Uh, oh, uh, somebody's muffins getting buttered. That ain't my business. Yeah, Congress. <laughs> yeah. All right, off the soapbox. Back to the show. Don't pull it out unless you're going to use it. That's true for guns and penises. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, fortunately, Batgirl had planted a tracer on the Mothmobile so they can easily trail their foes back no to no i gotta pull a picture of this up hold on give me one freaking sec this shit is nasty work bro <laughs> That's what they back yeah to it's moth. nasty yeah. work but they but they 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 traced it back to moth mansion moth mansion that's what mm -hmm. i'm talking about no it's like that's it's all not as good as the ha 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 sienda oh ha si <laughs> ha ha sienda yeah Okay. That's oh, true. Yeah, that, that is the best. Yeah. Just, did you read that Joker series? Yeah, that Joker yes. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. That is great. This is nasty work. That, like, look this is that. worse than the Green yeah. Arrow Mobile. Okay. Look <laughs> like, at that. I mean, that look thing, at this. Look at that thing. It's ribbed for General Motors play. <laughs> exactly. Like, he, I, I'm starting to wonder. Maybe he does. Maybe he is overcompensating. <laughs> it looks like they should have a remote control and throb in various wow. like, I'm pretty sure it does, bro. With the ribs like that. <laughs> is that a one seat? <laughs> <laughs> that were the case, Wolf could have two of those in her garage. <laughs> Y'all remember the uh, the Christmas wish list? That car kind of gives uh, overcompensation no. vibes, too. <laughs> See, that's why you should be a patron. You miss out on lore if you're not a patron. That's right, kids. Yeah, little that... Look, that's right, kids. A little orgasm get 20 miles to the gallon. <laughs> Electric, babes. I'm all about being conscious about the environment. Good for the environment and my sex drive. Yeah. <laughs> Zero emissions. Exactly. <laughs> well, from the now, device. Clearly we're not talking about a Tesla. Because who oh. the from Elon Musk? <laughs> <laughs> I love how Luke and his funny man now are now a It's, the, it's like the best meme ever, especially since like I have a vendetta against Elon Musk. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's like I was living in a South Park episode. But Luke and his buddy, when they were in fourth grade, are standing by the side of the road and going... A Tesla drives by. Who would buy a car from Elon Musk? <laughs> what? There's like 30 of them in my neighborhood. So it's like every time I see one, I think of that. <laughs> Me, you know? I love that. It's so good. 
Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say I'd make a t shirt of that, but I don't want Elon Musk after our asses. I don't even know if he can read at this point, so I think we might be safe. Well, I'm sure he has lackeys who can read or listen. Or Nobody whatever. wants to bring Elon Musk bad news. <laughs> Nobody. No. no, unless they want to be dropped into the pit. I'd rather work for the Joker. It's safer. I heard it had better benefits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think he's turned into a full-on villain, but we'll talk about that on a Salty and Petty. <laughs> oh, my. Nice. <laughs> Now Noel woke up. All right. Uh, <laughs> Batman and Robin arrive at the mansion first and enter through the front foyer. They suddenly discover that the room is, in fact, a gravity well, and they begin floating towards the ceiling. What the Not hell? Not to be confused with a gravity water vase. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Bong for the those who don't know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So I'm sure I was going to say, I'm sure the rest of our panel knows exactly what you're talking about. Oh, definitely. Without a doubt. Uh, Edibles. Back... Best <laughs> method. Yeah, it's good stuff. So Batgirl falls in behind them and uses a magnet and uses magnetic boots to keep herself on. Because a girl comes prepared. That's what the purse is for. Right. Stupid! She's you got a utility head. belt. She's got a purse. That's right. Any man that has a wife knows that purse has got everything you'll ever need in it. Uh, that one panel didn't her purse like turn into her utility belt? It did. Yeah. It did. It's multifunction. <laughs> Again, Gardner and Carmine were definitely in the bullpen um, doing a little nose candy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know, it's Julius Schwartz. He don't care what anybody does. That's what <laughs> Julius. They got a the under his watch as editor. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you can just imagine Carmine drawing that mothmobile at 12 o'clock in the morning. He's like, yeah, more ribs. Yeah, more, yeah, more, more, more ribs. <laughs> more ribs. It's got to be bigger or longer. Wow. <laughs> You're welcome. That is 3202. <laughs> no, I kind of have one. Bigger, harder, stronger. <laughs> Please. You can never have enough drops to say bigger or longer. Please, I'll have a full penis drop from you, Lilith. I don't need it. I mean, hello. <laughs> hello is the Cape Sun Lunatics Podcast Network. Oh, it was home of the best dick jokes on the internet. Hello. Come, of course come you I'm going to the hole on principle. <laughs> Every time Mothman is driving that car and he sees like one of those tunnels, that's what he says. Very hard, very tempting. Coming out of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 oh. Coming out of the butch. <laughs> Don't get finger. <laughs> that is reserved for Danny Finger Off. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. That's a mouthful. All right. Uh, she disables the gravity well, setting the caped crusaders free. Batgirl manages to find the secret closet panel where Killer Moth is hiding. Okay, so he's hiding in the closet. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Told you. <laughs> Batman and Robin each knock him out with one solid double punch. Where's Sal Buscema when you need him? I know. <laughs> right hook. Uh, uh, after taking the villain to prison, they say goodbye to Batgirl, wondering when or if they will ever meet her again. This is crazy. Like, um, what? Just, what about I think that? about this Batman sixty six, and then I think about this. <laughs> mm, I'm just yeah. like, oh, okay. What about that last panel where Gordon's like, "Why can't you be like more like Batgirl, Barbara?" I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, why can't you be like that uh, uh, unofficial vigilante? Yeah, he takes well, the he's launcher. Thing for vigilantes, he's probably like, "Hubba hubba, who's the new vigilante?" <laughs> 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 Wow, my God! What in the name of Luke Skywalker kissing his sister? In -law? <laughs> but it was and all planned out. Redhead? Yeah, oh. George. <laughs> she kind of looks like your your your. Uh, she kind of looks like your late mother when she was young and hot. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her running out the door. I thought I recognized your mother's ass. It's giving Jessica Simpson's dad to be perfectly hot. Oh. <laughs> If you know, if you're a 90s kid, you know what I mean by that. <laughs> Jessica Simpson's dad. He was always commenting on her boobs, bro. It was weird. Oh God, and he nasty. was like a pastor. It was weird. 
think I think we're not saying might go in the Trump territory there. <laughs> oh no 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 no. <laughs> oh god. F in the chat for Tiffany's self confidence. Uh, I was like, who's Tiffany Trump? Nobody knew. Nobody knew. Yes. Oh. She was just looking around happily. She's like, damn it, Dad. You know your <laughs> scams and flim flam mans. No, oh my. <laughs> this one was fun, though. This issue was fun. I did enjoy well, this, this part of the yeah. issue was fun, should I say? Yeah. Although the next one, Elongated Man, is pretty good, too. But we won't, we won't have to talk about that. Of oh course. yeah, the black and white one. Yeah, of course you went there. <laughs> of course, I had to. I mean, he's not Mister Fantastic, but <laughs> whoa, okay, Patsy Walker, slow down. <laughs> it's Patsy. It's Patsy. She really wants to bone your man. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Oh, that, that Avengers issue, Justin and I just did, where she uh, becomes Hellcat for the first time. She's mm-hmm. talking about her. She's a crush she had on Reed Richards. I'm like, yeah, Whoa. I know. Yeah. I'm familiar. Oh, <laughs> yep. And Sue's like, I'm gonna psychic block you into, into the space without a suit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's she's just... like, Don't make me call Alicia. We'll kick your ass together. <laughs> I mean, Anna can alter his body in any shape. I mean... Yeah. No much. <laughs> Slow down, kid. <laughs> uh, all okay. right. Let all right. Me so clear then... this space for the next issue. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know what? Was... Jewelry has is like I, I looked this up. It means a beloved person or thing or a love token oh. or keepsake, which is just really, really ironic, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking he might have been named after somebody close to the uh, creative. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Mm. Look at the colors on that cause. I mean, it looks like he's feeling the colors, Lilith. I mean, forget there. Oh, yeah. like he's feeling those colors. Oh, he is. De- I feel those colors from the page. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In 2025, she's really going to be feeling <laughs> Edibles are still good, bro. <laughs> Fine. That's oh, how nice. I'm keeping there it together. Oh, okay. There you go. Perfect. So I'm right. keeping it together. <laughs> yeah. That's the key. What in the Ghost Riders going on on this other cover, though? <laughs> oh, yeah. That is true. What is that going on here? Yeah, a murder, a murder by thunder. Oh, a murder by thunderbolt. Because Maxi Zeus, Maxi Zeus, to yeah. his machinations. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't think Maxi Zeus did. Maxi Zeus make our cannon fodder summer. I don't no, I don't think he's not cannon fodder. He... How dare you? I thought you guys talked about him last year, didn't you? We did. Talk, we did talk about him a little bit. Yeah, maybe it was one of the '90s issues or something. One of the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think it was the uh, War of the Gods crossover issue, yes. Oh, that one. Oh. That's what it was, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Flashbacks. Yeah. Well, I told you not to take all those edibles. All right. Uh, Detect- <laughs> Detective Comics 486 from November 1979. So two of us were born at this point. Uh, mm. Barely. <laughs> all right. So not story- like old man Ray. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, Grandpa. I was, I was saying, I don't know about Justin, but I didn't raise older than me. Ha ha. <laughs> what the f? <laughs> All right, so what are we looking for? Here we go. Batgirl crime calls killer moth! Exclamation yeah. point. Love it. Um, uh, wait. So are these? So are these all the same creators? Probably not. The, mm. the wiki's not the best sometimes on these older issues. Yeah, because I was going to say, the only uh, credits I have at the... the, the no, the it should be Jack C... Uh, no, wait, hold on. Which one? Jack C. Harris, writer. Oh, that's right. Yeah, our, Don our, Heck like, on Don the Heck pencilers. Yep. Joe Giella. Lettering. Uh, we got ben Gene Oda. D'Angelo for colors. Ben Oda's letters. And, oh, Paul Levitz is the Paul editor. Levitz. Yeah, they're like Julius. You gotta be more firm. He's like, I'm out of here. Too much yeah, <laughs> Julius is like, see ya. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so, Barbara Gordon meets a young man from Gotham who has come to Washington D.C. to ask her to investigate the murder of his father and capture the killer. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, she's a congresswoman, but at this point, kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, we took a big old leap in time. Yeah, this <laughs> a huge you. leap that took place well, yeah. here. Oh, this is how Bubba adding this. That's adorable. 
Oh, Hostess Fruit Pies, too. Nice. They, they were a big sponsor back in like the uh, 70s. They were of DC huge. Comics, yeah. yeah. I, Wait, what was that Frank Miller ad for? It was Hostess, too, right? Oh, did he do one? Yeah. Brian Cronin brought it up. <laughs> and that <laughs> thing you showed me. <laughs> uh, oh, so... It's like a very like I guess it's like a niche thing, but yeah, he did a hostess ad for Marvel, Marvel hostess ad or something. Nobody tell Brian. Or he'll steal our shit. <laughs> well, he's been yeah. I wonder, here, so. I wonder if he's gonna do a um an article on Killer Moth next month. Oh, and Phil said if he said he's like uh, Phil was like I'm just gonna tell him. Phil was like he better not. I better not ever hear him say your mother's a whore. I was like no, he'll say your mom's a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. This new Frank Miller art gives me vibes like your mother's a slut. Oh. <laughs> Look who we awakened. It's no, oh. no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not. It's not me. I'm May anymore. Sorry. It's, talking, it's just in June. Okay. We're talking, just no, we're talking June, killer right. moths. So. Killer moth time. All right, but I'm sorry. Yes, so yes, we did mention Frank Miller multiple times. Yeah, but that's a whore. <laughs> Your Uncle Scrooge is a whore. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm just saying not for nothing. Like, this is a Wonder Woman hostess fruit pie ad infinitely better than Snickers Well, ad. how can it be worse? It's a whole ad page on top of that. I'm just saying. It's the half pages that just really set me off. <laughs> your whole your yeah. whole advertising department can suck it. The yeah, half exactly. page ads are terrible. Your whole family can suck it. Uh, Slim Jim's no, I, all. Everything unhealthy for you. Everything a latchkey kid can eat. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. Slim Jim's <laughs> latchkey ho- kids unite. That's right. Yes. See. Uh, oh, Moth May. Well, these Moth are for the. May. No, these are for June. As uh, as Justin it's will just be here every episode. June. It's just, just in June. June. Yes. I'm gonna be here every oh. week. Wonder Woman's fruit cake. <laughs> fruit pie. Fruit pie. <laughs> I'd like to get wrapped up in that lasso. <laughs> uh, I uh, wait. Wait, what are we talking about? Hippolyta gets <laughs> less hair. What? <laughs> okay, but the Mothmobile looks way cooler in this issue. It does. It's, Everything looks better in this. I forget. One, I, I gotta say. pull this up. Is it still ribbed for her pleasure? It's not, unfortunately. No. But it's got some um. Antenna or something on there? Yeah, it looks more like a roadster. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks like the horn would go auga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. Oh jeez. All right. So <clears throat> yeah, let's get back to the congresswoman here. Uh <laughs> without any other clues, Barbara goes into action as Batgirl to stop a couple of random criminals, but they almost escape thanks to Killer Moth. Who has apparently resumed his previous modus operandi of helping criminals in need? <clears throat> Later on, Barbara learns that the young man's father was a shoemaker who was hired and killed by a man named Van Clear. Uh oh. Nope. Killer Moth. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Killer Moth fan club president. Ha 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 ha. Uh, knowing that this was the former alias of Killer Moth, Batgirl deduces that the crook used the shoemaker to install doll remote signal devices in the shoes of criminals who ask for his services using the same method Batgirl lures Killer Moth to a trap where she finally captures the criminal and delivers justice to a young man in need I see feet you know what that means kids fetish (laughs) (laughs) barefoot in prison yeah that's definitely that's definitely some fetish territory right there (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite easy to go to jail. We're put in prison. <laughs> yes, that's totally un. Yeah, I don't understand. Oh, stay that. the first thing. Says, I won't stand for this. This is my guy. It's my guy. Please, I can't take you seriously. <laughs> Oh, see, you see, look, the 60s issue is women barefoot in the kitchen. Now it's a barefoot in prison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big burly bear barefoot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Big old hairy hobbit feet in prison. <laughs> Whoa. Well, no, that's the crazy thing. It's not even hobbit feet. So I'm just like, definitely fetish. <laughs> <laughs> 
But just it's just the little I won't stand for this right next to the foot. <laughs> it just sends me right over the edge. That's fantastic. Uh. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is good stuff. Like I said, I, I loved how in this story we got back to Killer Moth, like his true purpose of being, like to, to help out the criminals that were in trouble. And he comes in and he kicks Batgirl in the back and then takes off. I, I love it. I it's think equal, it's equal treatment. His hands are ready to E for everyone. I appreciate it. That's that. right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! You know what it is? That new Mothmobile is, is uh, updated to look like the Batmobile, probably. Hmm. Mm, true. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be more Green Arrow at a glance, though. To be honest. Wow! Yeah, color scheme yeah. there. Jeez, Congresswoman. And it, it's a two this time, at least. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is good stuff. I had forgotten about um, her being a congresswoman. Like, I completely forgot that that even took place. There's no delivery. I never liked it, though, to be honest. What? what was it? Yeah, her what was the lead up to that? Um, like, did she just kind of like leap from. She had to go her own way and seek out justice in her own way. Okay. And it's like, babes, being in DC is not good. It's not what you think. <laughs> No, no, first no. woman, Marjorie Taylor Green got dunked on today. I mean, it's so easy. It's like shooting fish in a barrel at this point. Exactly. Yeah. No, well, yeah, no, well, at least she's only stupid. She's not stupid in a whore like Lauren Boebert. Nothing to get wet about anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reaction you're supposed to have when we talk about Boebert. So. Nothing to get wet about anyway. What about that horrible one that shot the puppy? I'd like to see her thrashed with an inch of her life. The Congresswoman's a whore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's such the way a, you talk um, about it, I would think she was your congressperson. <laughs> <laughs> I, now I'm just doing it for no. I don't know. Just doing it for the bit. He's committed to the bit, ladies and gentlemen. And serious actor, yes. <laughs> But like legitimately, that girl kicks Killer Moss ass. Like she yeah. takes the shoe, hits him in the face, fetish. <laughs> True. There's some definite like step on me, mommy. Wrong. Like okay, yeah. Enough. She <laughs> Enough gives the silliness. The... <laughs> yeah. You hit him right in the face with that sack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they told I love so it. much story in these like, pages, in the though. Place. I love it. What? Modern comics can never. This would be like a four, a four issue miniseries. Yeah, this is uh, only like eight pages, and they fit like the a kids whole get story the kid gets this. justice, and he's like, "I want to vote for you, oh, that yeah. girl." Yeah, issue issue, issue issue one would end with the kid getting to her and asking her for help. Issue two would be his whole tragic flashback. <laughs> issue three. <laughs> that, would be don't the, forget that will leak in the uh, issue three as well. The issue so. three would be the feet in prison issue. Exactly. Oh, the penultimate. I feel, like we're summoning, feature, I feel like we're summoning someone. Spendus, spendus, spendus. Oh, hold on, wait. Did you show this? As they should. Oh, yeah. Even oh, though. yeah. Because at this point, everything in politics is ridiculous. It's literally just clowns getting out of a clown car, and I'm sick of it. Yeah. Well, when people see it, it can seriously have a chance of, like, Wanting their candidate to run from prison. I mean, I don't know. All bets are off. Uh, yeah. Or that they had immunity for anything that they did when they were in office. That's ridiculous. It's like, yeah, he could kill a guy if he wanted to. Sure, yeah. Like, Alec like Baldwin? Oh! <laughs> I mean, the lady got more trouble than he did. I'm just <laughs> Well, again, he played the stupid. Well, she was the props handler. I was just a dumb actor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, somebody's got to no demands hand. more uh, hot ass back girl. Has Let's take the back to my wait, ginger wait, lovely. Wait, 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 wait. Has that ever happened before? Where we're talking politics and current events, and Noel's like, no, no, no. Let's change the subject back. Well, or yeah, it, it, it's it's Noel Tate after dark. <laughs> <laughs> Although where he's at, it shouldn't be that. Oh well, yeah, it is super dark actually. <laughs> no date after dark. 
That's like, no more politics. <laughs> Let's talk hot that girl ass. Yeah. There's Got any Bruce. Jessica Drew issues laying around? Yeah. Got any soak issues laying around? No, we're talking Noel, not Ray. Come on. Got any Vampirella? Those ginger boobs scare. Those ginger boobs scare me. Those boobs scare me. I think no one likes Dazzler. Booty looks good all the time. <laughs> I remember right. Wow. <laughs> oh, right oh. from our feet. To... Okay, okay, John Byrne, settle down. <laughs> Where's the jump rope? <laughs> it's not just for boys. Where's the jump rope? <laughs> My face is to get touched by a white man with cornrows. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's... A mess was this one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, to get kill him off trying to donkey punch from behind. Jeez. Since Noel demanded it, I will just... Um... Oh, putting the butt shot up? <laughs> Not the butt shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here you go, Noel. <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> this is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> I told you I won't stand for this. <laughs> too much. I feel like there's a backstory behind this. There's, there's yes. a, there's a I whole don't want to know the backstory, backstory to that. <laughs> there, was, there was a whole unseen plot point, so, you know, a foot. <laughs> Oh man, Noel's into it. Nice. You could say that they got to the heart and soul of the <laughs> Oh, oh <Joseph>. nice. <laughs> That's too dad for the dad. Get out. <laughs> Why he's there, kids. He's he's off snow. Oh, oh he's so oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, Noel needed a nice pair of feet to get ready for bed. <laughs> poor wife, man. Oh. <sighs> Baby, why are you wearing them socks to bed? Actually, you shouldn't wear socks to bed. It's gross. No, no offense if you do it, but you, you're getting yeah, crumbs and stuff in your bed. Yeah. Hell, I'm also because I have four dogs. I like dog hair, but yeah. Oh, the hair, yeah, totally. <laughs> Hell, I just sleep in my boxers, except when company's here. I don't have to sleep in clothes. Oh Thanks, God, buddy. one time a year, jeez, Phil. <laughs> I will come fine. Hey, oh, you never said that in your life. <laughs> that's yeah, something I've never said. <laughs> She's like, You won't, I will. <laughs> <sighs> this is the kind of thing that just pickles my balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's what oh, whoever see. drew this said for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we know you're fetish, Noel. Never wear socks to bed. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was a cute little story that wrapped up pretty neatly, as most good. early issues do. Yes. Yeah. And they're Batman PJs, yes. <laughs> oh, specifically Very Nightwing nice. PJs. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I have Batman sleep pants. I have a pair of Deadpool sleep pants. I have a pair of Venom sleep pants. How dare you? Venom? Yeah! Do you have Carnage? No. You know, that's no, what we should no get Green Lantern Chester ones? for Christmas. Oh, or sooner. Oh. A oh. Carnage onesie. A Carnage onesie. <laughs> uh, it's like, it's close enough. It's red. You'll be alright. A Carnage <laughs> Snuggie. I can see it now. All right. Uh, all right. So did the did these uh, tickle start to tickle your uh, killer moth uh, fancy here, Justin? Oh yes, definitely. I love I loved revisiting uh, Barb's first appearance as Batgirl. It was great. Yes. I haven't read that in a while. Oh. And um, yeah, I hadn't read this other one, so it was nice to see like an actual representation of what killer moth was supposed to be, which was like a pseudo like anti-batman where he would come down and help out the criminals in trouble or at least try to as he did in this issue 1979 those antennae had sideburns and now it makes <laughs> sense for the people who didn't know why killer moth was going to be in the batgirl movie why that right. was the villain mm -hmm. yeah that was a deep cut bro it was a deep cut yeah. it was Sprint genius and Fraser. Sprint and Fraser. oh wait was it killer moth or was it firefly it was firefly but originally it was going to be killer, killer moth. No. originally yeah it. 
And did who, did they have a cast and uh, actor in mind for Killer well, Brendan Mom? Fraser was going to yeah. be Firefly. He, he, he was the first person signed on to that movie. So oh, I think he was down for whatever. <laughs> oh man, that would have been great either way. Yeah. They killed our Brendan Fr- Brendan Fraser Renaissance. <laughs> yes, no, yes, no. It's here, infancy. no, all summer here and on Spidercast, we're doing Cannon Fodder Summer. So <laughs> Cannon Fodder Summer, I love that. Get ready to be shocked in June on Ultimate <laughs> Spider Cast. We will, we will shock you. Oh, you know, how we, <laughs> no, you know how we pull a bait and switch on the boys' loaf and get them over there for in July. Oh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have Jug July. Oh, oh, so much sugar not but uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jug July. We got some blue footed boobies. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Eight ball. You live little. You leave little desserts off the off the. Who the hell you want? Everyone loves cocaine. A marble bullpen in the seventies. What the hell? <laughs> hey, fuel gym shooters, creativity. Exactly. <laughs> God, oh gosh, have we ever seen Jim Shooter in public? Love, did you know what I'm talking about? Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, barn door protocol. Lock, <laughs> lock it down. All right, uh, oh Lil, did you read any new bat books today? Um, yeah, what little, what little there was, fail safe, fail safe. Oh, mm-hmm. was it good? Um. Mm, Birds of Prey was good for me. Um, Poison oh, yeah, Ivy was good. Oh yes, uh, oh yeah, Poison Ivy's good always. G Willow Wilson and Birds of Prey. Kelly, our friend Kelly Thompson, Ooh. who we are once again going to talk to when Scarlet Number One comes out. Yes, I'm excited. How about did you that. feel about? Uh, did you pick up? Oh, uh, probably not. You probably didn't pick it up because it was about Damien, but the Boy Wonder Number One. I did not pick that up. Did you read it? I um I glossed over it. Is that like one of those old, you know, all ages things? Yeah, it's by Junie Ba. It's one of those all age books. So. It's six dollars, and I'm just like, not oh. for Damien. No offense, Junie Ba. <laughs> not mm. for Damien. Oh, the, oh, there it is. There's that. Yeah. Yeah. Art great. Oh. Story kind of kind of nice. Just wish it wasn't about Damien. I think mm. it was wasted on the character of Damien. So. Yeah. Would That's have been great. a better if they would have like a flashback to like Dick Grayson. Hey man, like two weeks, man. Dick, we're getting Dick in two weeks. Oh, look at that. We're getting Rick. Oh, you're Tom Taylor. Yeah, yeah. We're getting Rick. Rick. Got a mullet. No, you're not. No. <laughs> Long haired Nightwing. Boo. Boo. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> Ponytail Nightwing. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Long haired Superman. Boo. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so final thoughts on uh, Killer this this first week of Killer Moth. This is fun, yeah, it was super fun. I'm looking yep. forward to the next two. That keeps the sex toys and dick jokes coming. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's more where that came from, folks. Ew. Uh, all right, open up the schedule here. Uh. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I know this. Okay, next week I don't even need to look schedule. Next week, yes, we're gonna talk not only Killer Moth but a few other villains, including Calendar Man. Calendar that, Man. Uh huh. From Batman: Shadow of the Bat, seven through nine. I know, a little so close. And she's gone. Oh, I'm sure she'll be back in a moment. All right, and then in two weeks we'll we'll do Robin twenty three and twenty four. Uh featuring yes killer moth goes through a startling metamorphosis yes <laughs> metamorphosis and becomes caraxes yes oh oh yes and uh no he's still there uh robin 23 and 24 i believe written by chuck dixon oh oh <laughs> so, so you so you know what our our uh our comment section is going to fill up with from yeah, the yeah. yes yeah lots of f-bombs a certain letter of the alphabet and chuck dixon yes yeah <laughs> And then, of course, yes, Justin and I will wrap up the month with uh, Azrael 17 through 20. So, oh, That's wait, right. um, I did want to just shout out um, the Batman and Scooby Doo Mysteries number five. It's not too late to get in on the train. 
It's Ale. cute. Yes. It's one of the best mashups of the property of the Hanna Barbera properties and DC properties. Star Wars by Marvel could never. Oh my! <laughs> is that a series or is it? Like... Mm-hmm, it's a series. Like oh, cool. um, every like there, there's almost always an iteration of like um, Hanna Barbera for like a very long. I think probably the last like fifteen years or so. There's always been like a Hanna Barbera mashup with Batman. Usually it's Scooby Doo, but they've done some other stuff too. Okay, cool. But yeah, it's really cute, and it's like one like Batman actually being a detective, and it's yeah, all yeah. his book, and it's Scooby Doo, man. Nice. Two that fixes, like one book. Yeah, nice. And it's only two ninety nine. Perfect. Lil can relate. Think getting high and thinking your dog can talk. Uh, he can. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't talk, but the little a hole can turn the TV off on you. Yeah, it tells me when to go to bed. So you know. Yeah. Uh, all right continue all right so yeah so that's our uh that's our killer mo- well <laughs> our justin june yeah yes. well again i mean he did the asriel episode for may he's gonna do the asriel episode for june so that's five weeks of justin in a row five so. weeks in a row it's a hooting good time kiddos it's a hooting good time i am be leaving owl pellets all over gotham city Whoa! Oh, no better than bat guano i'll tell you that <laughs> You're All welcome, right. Ray. <laughs> All right. So send us your thoughts. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, you can find all things Capes Lunatics episodes, social media, new merchandise. Yeah. Now with new more episodes. That's right. <laughs> Everything's better with help us <laughs> out. Uh, so yes, get all the new merch with all the new uh, logos. Or if you want to look like an old, outdated old man like Ray, you, there's the classic stuff is still on there. Uh, also, like we said, like Lilith and I have started saying, yes, if you want to rain random, if rain ra- uh, random money on us, like a girl working her way through medical school stripping. Uh, yes, you can uh, <laughs> use the Cash App link. Make it rain. Uh, eh. Oh wait, hold on. She looks like she was just working a. F- Let's be real. She's getting, arch she's getting a fine arts degree. <laughs> if you know, you know. Underwater basket weaving. <laughs> <laughs> working off that grant, that grant from the Wayne Foundation. Oh. Oh, she must have been an orphan. Oh, closet organization. Stephanie, is that you? <laughs> oh, worse. Carrie Kelly, is that you? Oh, damn. She has a PhD in closet organization. All right. <laughs> and, of course, you can always catch us on the Patreon. Please subscribe like uh, one of our Patreon elite, Justin, right there. That's right. Join me in the elite on Caves and Lunatics Plus. 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 Plus what? I don't know. <laughs> me and you. You and the me. Plus, the plus is even for even more language. Yes, <laughs> uncensored. Rated teen and above. Uh, <laughs> again, kids, it's worth the price of admission just for uncensored, off the chain little hellfire. Oh, th- this right. ain't nothing. Even oh, if yeah. you listen to Salty and Petty, that ain't nothing. No, no, nothing. unhinged. <laughs> That's what it should be called, actually. And you again, lunatics unhinged. And again, <laughs> it's that unleashed, unhinged. Nice. <laughs> and again, not only do you get the nukes content, you get the old content, like all those topless videos. That's right. Oh yes, superhero movie reviews. Yep. The, Just the see the depth in Phil's eyes. It was worth it. The gear. Took myself down with it, but it was worth it. I was just reminiscing about Meteor Man today with one of my coworkers, and I thought I should go back and watch that. We couldn't even video. find it to review it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yes, yeah, so, so subscribe to the Patreon, but you can find everything at tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network. That's tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network. More vicious and brutal than ever. All right, you can catch what, Granny? You're on the Facebooks, right? Yeah, friend me on the Facebooks. All it takes is a friend request, and you can you too can have dog pictures and uh, non political shit posts. Nice. <laughs> Uh, well, and more if you're 25 and male and hot and stupid. Send all dick pics to Cape San Lunatic. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs>
Oh, oh no, wait, that's salty and petty 69. <laughs> Don't pull it out unless you're going to use it. That's true for guns and penises. It's all rape and murder, I'll tell you that. Oh. I don't want, I don't need to know what you're up to. I don't know whether to be excited or worry or both. <laughs> Lubricated eels are the best. <laughs> I mean, lubricated mothmobiles are the best. <laughs> now ribbed with you for her pleasure. <laughs> and his, no judgment. And his. <laughs> and great <laughs> um, I think he would like the mothmobile. I do. Mm-hmm. Talking about meat is so natural for Ray. All right, now for the, the now for the king of podcasting, Mr. Justin the Owl again, Killer Moth fan club president. Uh, you can find him well at least once a month here on We Are the Night, uh, talking Azrael. Sometimes he'll pop in the Killer Moth podcast, the oh, Killer Moth podcast. I can't even. All right, and of course, you can catch him every week on Marvel Tales, where he and I talk something different. Marvel, you can catch him. Now walking in once a month, X Men Classic. Once a month, yes. <laughs> Talking something with the X in the title. And Hello. Yeah. No, oh, no, not that kind. Okay, okay. <laughs> one, X, one X, not three, Lilf. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you can also catch him once a month with me and some hillbilly talking. Uh, all the Mountain new Mountain Dew flavors, <laughs> tobacco. <laughs> well, of course, we always get to that. But yes. Uh, yeah, talking all the new Transformers and G.I. Joe content coming out from Image. So, yes, follow us there. And, of course, that's not all he does. Uh, where else can people that's catch right. you podcasting? And remember, Hulk is strongest Marvel. All right, go oh, ahead. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, if that, yeah, if that wasn't enough of me for you, you can also find me every month on Gamma Charge, the strongest Marvel podcast there is. Okay. Where Russell and I talk about the Incredible Hulk and the Sensational She-Hulk. And by the time this episode comes out, we will have unveiled a new interview with the writer of the Incredible Hulk, Philip Kennedy Johnson, which was great. Ooh. Yeah. And also, we can be found every month with the aforementioned High Priest of Khonshu, Ray, the Hardmaster himself. Over on Predator and Prey, the Yucha podcast, where we discuss the new comics coming out every month from Marvel, centered around Fox's Predator, as well as the classic Dark Horse comics focused on the Predator. Still need a Batman and, Predator crossover, Ray. That's right. To on <laughs> We're going to plan it. He's going to be sick and not show up. That's okay. We'll put a little iPad on there and we'll get a Ray puppet. Yes, that's right. right. We will Ray make Ray. it happen. Absolutely. And last but not least, my solo show, The Lost Library Legends, delving into the forgotten and obscure comic book arcana of the last 40 years is still going on. And by the time that this episode comes out in June, I will be doing a retrospective on an image miniseries from the 90s by Al Gordon and Jerry Ordway called Wildstar. We're going back to the 90s here, bitch. Uh, it's me your old pal the owl wow that's naughty let's not forget that classic superior puss (laughs) I don't buy buy it well that escalated quickly wait are you doing the whole thing like Wildstar um, Sky Zero that one or yeah that first mini series yeah the four issue one okay yeah. Image was wild. It was the wild west back then. It was, it was. But I loved that miniseries, and that was the nineties and comics gem. in general were the wild west. Yes, what are you talking about? very much so. Looking forward to it. All right, so uh Justin, we did Justin's favorite for the first week. Yes. Yeah, like a, a gar- garishly clothed man and with moth wings and a uh, silk gun. Uh, I don't know if that's well, we, about you, sir. We, we're uh, talking about fetishes, so you know. Just exactly. Wondering in there. <laughs> My favorite biscuit. Uh, <laughs> all right, kids. Join us. Thank you for joining us. Join us next week for more exciting adventures with Ray's favorite biscuit, Batman. <laughs> favorite something. Whoa!
favorite toilet paper to wipe his butt with. <laughs> no, Ray, I, I sense a, a disturbing lack of videos on your uh, Ray Plays games about Batman. I'm sure there's yeah. Batman out there. Yeah. Ray needs to get the game board and get a D&D game going on that thing. It kills the mood. Ray doesn't feel like playing with himself with Batman to there. <laughs> <laughs> All the oh. background music turns to sad piano music. Oh no! They play taps. Taps. Fucking died to say, my friend. All right, come back next time. Remember to join the same bat time, same, same bat channel. Bat we are the night. We are the night. The Batman podcast. Killer Mouth podcast. Killer Mouth podcast. How are we gonna sell with the ray? It kind of fits.